<laughs> What's up, you guys? How you doing? Oh, man, great. That sounds fantastic, I see. No, you guys have been really cool crowd. I feel like I can tell you anything. Yeah. Uh, yes, I like that. They're supportive. Like, biggest thing in my life, you guys, I recently lost 132 pounds. Thank you. Of course, I'm talking about my girlfriend, Julie. I don't know if you guys have seen her. She said she went to get cigarettes, never came back. Oh, shit. shit. No, I actually put on 35 pounds during the pandemic, you guys. Anybody else put on a few? Yeah! Yeah! The honest corner back there in the dark. I like you guys, yes. No, I did, man, I did. Here's the thing, I didn't realize I was putting on weight either, because I, I was hanging out at home, not working, just quietly stretching with my sweatpants on the couch. I realized I put on weight where I went to see my family for the holidays, man. Yeah, Mama roasted me. Mm -hmm. I was sitting there watching TV, right? And she comes in and she just shuts it off mid show. And then she goes, Carlos, Carlitos, my son, the youngest one, the last one to fly away from the nest. Your father and I, we need to address the elephant in the room. That's it, they just stared at me. I was like, wait, what? This is not how you do this? This is terrible. I mean, I remember growing up, I never wanted to do anything with my friends. My mom would always be like, well, if your friends wanted to jump off a bridge, would you jump off too? And I hated that. I hated it. Because the answer was obviously no, right? Especially since we lost Jimmy. He was uh, a wonderful friend. <laughs> Learned a lot that day, yes. Yes, I did. Now, my dad was not much better. Have you guys ever heard the phrase, nothing good happens after 2 a.m.? Yeah, my dad used to always hit me with that, yeah. Especially in college. And I'm not going, I thought he was telling me to be safe, don't drink too much, you know, don't party too hard. And then my mom told me I was born at 2.15 a.m. <laughs> I'm putting them at home. Fuck those guys. Fuck those guys. Now, where's my relationships at in the room again? Let me hear you guys. Not happy about it, so we're here. Might need to go to therapy or something. <laughs> so be some talks after the show. <laughs> well, I have a girlfriend, you guys. I do. Thank you. Thank you. Her name is Julie, but you guys don't know her because she goes to a different school. She's totally real. I swear to God, she's totally real. Now I was a late bloomer, and I gave a love, you guys. I was. I really was. Like I actually had my first kiss when I was 16 years old, you guys. Nice, thank you again. Very supportive. I like it. I like it. Usually it's very dark when I say that, yes. <laughs> but I was nervous. I was so scared because I was like, what if I'm bad at this? You know what I mean? Like, this could ruin my dating reputation. But I gotta say, Father Thomas was a total pro, you guys. He was so gentle. He was so nice. You had those cushions to get on your knees. I was like, oh, thanks, Daddy. I'm your father. Show some respect, Carlos. Show some respect. I know I wrote that joke, but you all laughed, so we're all going to hell together. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, I've been with my girlfriend for five years, and I've got to say, I'm lucky. We've been in a very committed relationship. We never cheated, because cheating is bad, you guys. Woo. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Like, I remember growing up, actually, my buddy's dad cheated on his mom with one of his patients, and it totally, like, ruined their life, man. Especially because he was a veterinarian. Uh, <laughs> No, no, he always carried peanut butter with him. I thought he was allergic. Now I get it. <laughs> Makes so much sense. Yes. <laughs> now, I'm originally from uh, Caracas, Venezuela, you guys. And uh, thank you again. You're the best. I keep your hand everywhere. <laughs> and I'm like, when I first moved to America, I hated that no one knew anything about Venezuela. I would get asked the dumbest shit. Like, we're in Mexico, is Venezuela. Did you say Minnesota? <laughs> Like the dumbest shit. It used to really upset me, but I feel like now people know too much. You know what I mean? They know way too much about it. It's, it's completely changed my interactions with people. Like, I used to go introduce myself to people and be like, hey, hi there, I'm Carlos Garcia from Caracas, Venezuela. And they're like, oh! And now they're like, oh. Are you okay? Would you like me to demo you some money? And yes, I would. At Carlos Des Garcia Des 30. Send it! Send it! Alright, you guys, that's my top one. Instagram, I promise that the world can go for your